My name is Don Walser. I'm the founder of Monkey Haven. And I'm speaking to you today with a heavy heart. I'm at home at Monkey Haven and I'm self-isolating because of this coronavirus. Building the Haven was a dream I had. I've been rescuing animals for many years and knew that it was time to do it properly. Against all odds, we managed to do it. We had loads of objections, four years to get planning, but we persevered and we got there in the end. And with the support of my family and the help of my son Anthony with his building skills, we set to work and we built a home. We were doing 12, 14 hour days for six years until we eventually got it finished and managed to open to the public. And it was all self-funded, which was a bit of a struggle at the time, but we managed to get there in the end. Over the years, we rescued more than 60 monkeys and lots of these come from really bad places, mainly from the pet trade. They've all had harrowing pasts, such as Anna, the Barbie macaque we had that was been living in a shipping container for quite a number of years with no window, um, just one solitary light bulb. And when he was rescued, it turned out he was scared of the dark because he just had this one night in his life. It's, it's terrible, and I could go on and on, but it's a bit upsetting, really, about the some of our monkeys. We've got a squirrel monkey that we rescued from France. I've been on a, as a beach photographer thing, and when we had her x rayed, she had two fractures in her right arm, and it forced her to put a Spanish dress on for photographs. You know, it's ridiculous, but I'm afraid this is what happens in the world, and um, we're doing our best to sort of stop this thing. In 2018, I unfortunately suffered a heart attack. Um, I had this terrible pain in the left hand side of my cheek and I turned up at St Mary's Hospital and within the next hour and a half I was airlifted to Portsmouth where they worked on me and an hour and a half later I was sitting up in bed drinking tea so our NHS is wonderful and you've got to feel for them at this time because they're under so much pressure with this virus going around, they're, they're working so hard and it's, it's, it's just terrible really. I mean, because they're under so much pressure at present, I've decided that we will close the park on Monday the 23rd. It's, it's just not morally correct to have the park open where people are coming in and putting their selves and my staff at risk. So for this reason, I'm closing the park because it's just going to put the NHS under more pressure. They've got enough as it is. So the only way we can get through it is with help from the public. If, if we can donate something, we will be really, really grateful because what we don't want to do is, is close our doors and never open them again. Um, so we will be setting up a funding page and no matter how small, anything you can donate would be a great help towards us because we still need to feed these animals daily. We still have to buy food, fruit, veg, vitamins, we're still going to get vets bills, obviously, and it, it just goes on really. The irony of all this is, this year was supposed to be a celebration of us being open for 10 years. We had, we had big plans made, but unfortunately, they've all gone to the wall now, so. Please stay safe, follow the government guidelines, isolate yourself. We don't want this spreading any further than it does. As I say, if you can help to donate a little bit towards our animals, we will be eternally grateful. Thanks for watching.
very much.